This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock software and accompanying plugins. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell exchange traded instruments, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Great, great. Welcome, everybody. My name is Ken W. Chow, and I'm a professional trader. And let me know if I'm too loud uh, or too soft. I'm trying to hold my microphone in the right position. Hello, everybody.、Um, I've been trading on and off for about almost 20 years. Graduated from UCLA with a degree in engineering. And what I would be、uh, well, I'm going to be sharing with you are some of my trading techniques that are that are simple, but yet it makes logical sense. And and you can see how you can improve your own trading with this. And I'll show you my、um, some of the some of the more powerful tools that I've been using. Okay, now I call my trading methodology、uh, superstructure trading, and you'll see why in a second. The market has no structure, as you know. We need to give it some sort of structure. And when you put enough structures and supporting structures, you will come to what I call a superstructure, and that's when. You have a lot of good、uh, patterns helping you out. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about what today's presentation is. We will start with the presentation, and I will read the questions and answer. I'll answer those questions during、uh, after my presentation. But today's presentation is we're going to talk a little bit about superstructure trading. We want to talk about what it is and the exclusive approach for real success. Now the exclusive approach, you'll see lots of examples, chart examples,、uh, using some of the uh, good uh, charts here with, with Metasock, and you will be, you'll, you'll see what I mean、uh, after we're done. Now let's talk about the three,、uh, simple, the three approaches, the three main approaches to trading. The first approach, of course, is the fundamental analysis. You know what that is. You listen to CNBC. You hear unemployment reports going up, and real estate price action. Real estate prices are going down. Therefore, let me、uh, short the stock market. Well, that's fundamental analysis.、Um, not very good with timing. Not very much of precision. Now, if you're a long-term trader like George, uh, uh, like um, not George Soros,、um, George Soros also talks about、uh, macro by Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett buys some things for years. And that would work if you look at it from a very macro perspective, but not very good for short-term trading. Next, we have technical analysis. That's when you use moving averages, indicators, oscillators, MACDs. Those are okay. I find they are lagging, so they're not very, very useful from that perspective. Okay, and、uh, there's a third way of、uh, trading. And that is chart reading. Now we're going to be talking about chart reading today.、Um, traders of a hundred years ago, they they read charts. They did not have a lot of fancy uh, uh, indicators helping them out. It's basically price action and chart reading. Now that's the truth. Price is truth. It's not something derived from price like indicators. So we're going to talk a lot about、uh, chart reading, and that's what superstructure trading. Is based on. Okay, now let's talk about the superstructure trading.、Uh, exactly, what is that? We we want to look at two main main things when we are reading a price chart. Okay, and as you'll see, we're reading a simple price chart. We're not talking about、um, candlestick charts or line charts or, or tick charts. Nothing fancy. Your basic price chart is what we use. We want to determine the trend direction. Is it going up or is it going down? Now the next thing is very important. You, we want to evaluate the strength of the trend. Is that trend a strong trend or a weak trend? I'm going to share with you a couple of tools that you can use just right after this hour is over, where you can evaluate trend strength very, very easily. Again, these are simple、uh, chart patterns.、Uh, they will get 
uh, you know, more involved if you uh, want to look for additional trading strategies. But we're going to show you some very simple ways to read trend strength. Okay. Now, what is this exclusive approach that we have here? We're combining price analysis with time elements. Okay. Now, what are the uh, price analysis? We're looking at the dominant structure, which is the measured move. You have all seen the measured move. It's a very basic concept. Uh, we'll talk about that. We will also uh, combine supporting structures with the measured move. Now, we probably won't have time to talk about extreme Fibonacci ratios. Another powerful tool that I use is the Fibonacci ratios and the way we're using it differently here in superstructure trading is we are looking at what's called extreme Fibonacci ratios, which is different than you know, regular Fibonacci ratios because not all Fibonacci ratios are created equal for those of you who are familiar with Fibonacci ratios. Some are more important than others. Okay. Um, another important thing that that you want are some sort of time element, something to do with time. Okay, from the alignment of price and time, we will have a, a good idea as to how strong the trend is. Okay, now again, we want to look for some tools. We have two simple tools that we have here. One is called the skewing, and the other one is called the time range. Again, we won't have time for uh, time range. I'll just go to skewing. I'll share that with you today. Again, we want to make sure we have something to answer the question. Is the trend accelerating or decelerating? Okay, that's the most important thing. So a superstructure trade sets up when there's price and time alignment. What that means, again, is from the basis of price and time, you want to have something, again, something simple. I know you guys have heard about WD GAN and all those things. That are very complicated. You want something simple, especially when you're day trading or doing shorter term trading, uh, where you can, you know, put your arms around very, very quickly. So, what you do is you have an edge. With superstructure trading, what is your edge? You can actually pinpoint highs and lows in advance. Okay? Now, picking highs and lows are deemed a little dangerous, but the way we use price action and determine how a trend is decelerating into a high or a low along with using extreme Fibonacci extensions we can pinpoint highs and lows in advance. In fact just last uh, uh, Tuesday I talked about a potential low in the uh, E-mini S&P between 901 and uh, 902 and that one went up for like 15-20 uh, points in the next couple of days but for a day trade I have a lot of students who, you know, made about uh, uh, 10, 12 points on, on that move because we use uh, extreme Fibonacci extensions. Now, for those of you who like to trade breakouts, what is your biggest worry when you get into a breakout trade setup? Uh, false breakouts, right? False breakouts. If I break above this high, how do I know that's not the high two ticks above where I bought? Okay. How do I know when, if I shorted this low here, how would I know I won't be caught and at, at some sort of bottom? You want to look for situations where the trend at the breakout point, exactly at that very point, is showing acceleration. And when you do that, your breakout trades will have about a 90% success ratio. Now, do these good breakout trades come around a lot? No, no, they are different. There are different uh, 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 stages, or should I say, different qualities, if you will. Some are much more in-your-face type of breakout trades where you know there's going to be follow-through, and that's the one. Those are the ones you need to jump in on. I will show you a couple of examples. So the objective is to trade superstructures. Now, let me ask you, uh, everybody, a question. How many have heard of the term trade with the trend because the trend is your friend? Everybody, okay? Now, actually, that's a lot more truer than, than you.